Hi, I'm Junvert, founder of Matalino. There are four simple cases arising in equilibrium of concurrent forces. The purpose of this video is to solve each case using the complex number. Now, let's go to the discussion. Any point on the complex plane is defined as R angle theta, where R is the distance from the origin to the point, and theta is the rotation of that line R from the real axis. Theta is positive if the rotation is counterclockwise, and if the rotation is clockwise, theta is negative. This point can also be defined as A plus BI, where A is the distance from the imaginary axis to the point, and B is the distance from the real axis to the point. Cosine of theta is adjacent A over the hypotenuse R, therefore A is equal to R cosine theta, and in the same manner, B is equal to R sine theta times I. We can factor out R. We have cosine theta plus I sine of theta. Now, if we replace the line R with force F, we can define F as F angle theta. This is also equal to Fx plus Fy times I. We can also express F angle theta as F cosine theta plus I sine theta. These are the three forms of complex number useful in solving equilibrium of concurrent forces. F angle theta is the polar form of complex number. Fx plus Fyi is the rectangular form of complex number. And F times the quantity cosine theta plus I sine theta is the trigonometric form of complex number. Let us go to case number 1. In this situation, one force is unknown, both magnitude and its direction. To solve for F, let us have these forces P and Q in scale. Let us connect Q and P. Now, this is the sum Q plus P graphically. Let us grab our calculator. Let us go to menu and then choose number 2, complex mode. Let us input 20 shift angle 115 plus 15 shift angle 15 equals. The answer is very long. To shorten the display, let us go to shift menu, number format, and fix to fix the display into two decimal places. This is not yet displayed into two decimal places. We can go to AC and we go back to our answer. This is 6.04 plus 22.01. In polar form, we have option downward arrow number one. So this is the answer in polar form for Q plus P. The value of F is simply the negative of our answer, P plus Q. So this is the value of F in rectangular form. In polar form, option, downward arrow, number 1. 22.82 angle, negative 105.34. This is the magnitude and direction of F. We don't actually need this diagram to solve for F. We can go directly to the given figure. We are going to use the complex mode of our calculator to calculate for the value of F. From the diagram, we have F plus P plus Q is equal to 0 because these three are in equilibrium. Therefore, F is equal to 0 minus P minus Q. Substitute the value of P. 15 angle 15 minus 20 angle 115. Let us do the calculation. 0 minus 15, shift angle 15, minus 20, shift angle 115, equals negative 6.04 minus 22.01i. Option, downward arrow, polar form. 22.82 angle negative 105.34 For case number 2, the magnitude of two forces are unknown. All directions are given. F plus P plus Q are in equilibrium. So they sum up to 0. F and Q are the unknown. F plus Q is equal to 0 minus P. 
F angle 130 negative plus Q angle 120 is equal to 0 minus 50 angle 20 let us calculate at the right side of the equation 0 minus 50 shift angle 20 46.98 minus 17.10i recall that r angle theta is equal to a plus bi and is equal to r times cosine theta plus i sine theta in trigonometric form and note that if you are going to add two complex numbers say a plus bi plus c plus di and if we say that the sum is e plus fi then the equation can be exploded into two real parts which is a plus c is equal to e and the imaginary parts b plus d is equal to f from this equation, we can also explode this into two using the trigonometric form of complex number. Note that the real part of trigonometric form is r cosine and the imaginary part is r sine. So for f angle negative 130, the real part is f cosine of negative 130. For q angle 120, the real part is q cosine of 120 is equal to the real part in the right side of the equation. And the imaginary part of f angle negative 130 is f sine negative 130 plus the imaginary part of q angle 120 is q sine of 120 is equal to negative 17.10, the imaginary part in the right side of the equation. We don't need to write these two equations. We can actually read these two lines from one line above. We can explode this equation into two mentally. To solve these two equations, menu, then A, simultaneous equation, select 1, number of unknowns, 2, cosine of negative 130, cosine of 120, negative 46.98, sine of negative 130, sine of 120 negative 17.10 f is 52.4 kilonewton and q is 26.6 kilonewton these are the answers we acknowledge that these two magnitudes are easy to solve in conventional way sum up forces in the horizontal direction 50 cosine 20 minus to the left q cosine of 60 degrees minus f cosine of 40 degrees is equal to zero we have f sine 40 degrees plus q cosine of 60 is equal to 50 cosine of 20 degrees let us call this equation number one let us sum up the forces in the vertical direction upward minus downward is equal to zero upward is 50 sine of 20 degrees plus q sine of 60 degrees minus the downward is f cosine of 40 degrees is equal to zero we have f cosine 40 minus q sine 60 is equal to 50 sine 20 degrees let us call this equation number two let us go to menu a number one simultaneous equation number of unknowns two input equation number one sine 40 cosine 60 50 cosine of 20 input equation number 2 cosine 40 negative sine 60 50 sine of 20 f is equal to 52.40 kilonewton Q is 26.60 kN. In case number 3, all magnitudes are given, but two forces, their directions are unknown. Let us call it alpha and beta. The appropriate solution for this is graphical method. 
This is the 60 kilonewton force. This is the magnitude 50 kilonewton, and this is the magnitude 40 kilonewton. These two circles intersect at these two points. We are going to use the upper point for appropriate direction of P, which is upward. This is the value of P, and this is the quantity Q. We can easily find alpha and beta by finding theta and phi. We can easily solve theta and phi by cosine law. I will leave to you how to do it. This type of problem hit the limitation of the use of complex number to solve equilibrium of concurrent forces. But we can still use this approach to problems with choices. If we are given a problem with choices, we can use the complex number to solve the problem. In this problem, we are required to solve for angle alpha. Now, angle alpha is in the choices, meaning it is given. All we need to do is find it. To do that, let us make you are only unknown, and this problem will reduce similar to case number 1. Q is equal to 0 minus F minus P, absolute value. Q is equal to the absolute value of 0 minus 60 angle 210 minus 50 angle option in the choices. Shift absolute 0 minus 60 shift angle 210 minus 50 shift angle alpha A calc. Let us start with option A, 55.77, not equal to 40 kN, equals option B, 71.41 degrees, equals equal to 40 kN. This is the answer. The answer is B. Let us check the other options. Letter C, 41.41, not equal to 40. Letter D, 25.77, not equal to 40. Alpha is 71.41 degrees. In case number 4, the magnitude of one force is unknown and the direction of the other force also unknown. Again, the solution of this is graphical. This is the force F, 40 kN, and this is the line of action of force P with unknown magnitude. And this is the magnitude for Q. Now the two intersect at this point, which means this is the magnitude of P. And this is the rotation of Q. Let us call it theta. We can solve P by cosine law. And we can solve theta by solving the vertex angles of the triangle. I leave to you how to do it in conventional way to check our approach in complex number. Now, complex number again is useful if we have a problem with choices. Now, I encourage you to do this problem as we discuss in case number 3. Just pause this video and try to solve using the complex mode of your calculator. Here is the answer key. P is 56.26 kN. And if you are not going to use the absolute value, you can also solve for the angle theta. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.